Hey guys, Miles from Exascore here, and um, I'm bringing you a buddy fight deck profile. It's going to be on Magic World, but before we go in, I just want to just want to give a salute to Obstruct. It was there for me when no one else was. It helped me shut down FTK uh, Abigail. It helped me cuck out Jose's Astro Dragons. It helped me in more ways than even my friends have. And, uh, as of, I don't know, the last, like, day or two of January, it <clears throat> was placed on the ban list. So, just a little sad, you know. But anyway, you know, I'm a gamer, I can't let that get me down. So moving on, uh, it's Magic World Garga, so my buddy is Daybreak Rancho Dragon. Um, the base Garganto Dragons are for Daybreak Roar. Uh, it's ability, it's a, it's a 6 to 5 um, Again, it can be used with all flags, as is tradition. Uh, I think I might need to turn a light on. Hold on. <clears throat> is that better? Okay. Um, yeah, that looks better. So its ability, its skill is to um, uh, you to call it pay engage and put the top card of your deck into its soul. When it attacks, if you have another deity dragon tribe on your field, you can draw, and then it has Jivo. It also has move and soul guard, so it's pretty good. Um, drawing into your everything is important in this deck. So uh, the draw scale is um, that's why I I, I put I have it in favor of a uh, more. Gargantua Dragon, so I do four and two. Um, initially, I was doing four of this one and two of the other, but uh, this deck's less offensive. You don't need this card for the double attack. Um, so this is the original Gargantua Dragon. Um, it's just, you know, double attack with G-Evo. Uh, pretty basic. <clears throat> no, I drop cards. Uh, okay. Then we have... Gargantua Blade Mage. This card's fun. It is a 7-2-5. Um, when you cast a spell, destroy a monster on your opponent's field. Uh, that's not once per turn, so that's really fun. And it can be done on your opponent's turn, too. So when you nullify their attacks, or you bounce their cards, or you nullify a spell, you also get to destroy one of their monsters, limiting their attacks. Um, and then at the end of the battle, this card attacked. If it is a soul with Jivo and its card name... I'm so, like, conditioned um, with Vanguard and Buddy Fight to say in its card name, but you guys get the idea. Uh, if it is a soul with G-Evo, you may put six spells with different card names from drop zone on the bottom of your deck in any order, and if you do, deal five damage to your opponent. I really like that. Um, I, I've done it once or twice now, uh, and it's five damage, so if your opponent hasn't healed a shit ton, it's kind of destructive. Um, you, you, this, this is actually, like, the card that you want to go into more oftentimes than not, because this deck isn't meant to be aggressive, it's meant to be kind of, like, control, and, um, just sort of, like, uh, limiting your opponent's plays, uh, yeah, it is quite literally control, um, so you want to sit on this, uh, and, um, just kind of comfortably cast your spells, do other things, and then um, kind of just, just eventually, like, destroy your opponent's resources and whittle them down, and then you would primarily win through, like, burning them to death, or um, uh, if you really want to push and you have the resources, um, you can just call a new Gargantua Dragon and G Evo into the next one we're going to go into, which is um, Blade Mage, or Flare Mage. So, yeah, and it has Soul Guard, uh, no counterattack or double attack or anything. So here is Garantua Dragon or Garantua Flare Mage. Um, it's a uh, seven two six. So it's got move and soul guard. But uh, when it attacks, you may put a spell from. Oh, and to call it, um, it's pay two gauge and add a card from your drop into the soul. Uh, so you can select. Like if you have a Daybreak Roar in there, you can select that, and then you'll automatically meet the Jivo requirement. So you don't actually need a Jivo into it. That just makes sense if you can because. It, your your 
just giving yourself an extra attack. Like, that's great. An extra one to two attack. Um, so when this card attacks, you may put a spell from your drop zone on the bottom of your deck, and if you do, for this turn, this card gets double attack. If this card has a soul with G Evo, it all, it gets quadruple attack instead. And this ability only activates once per turn. So as I said before, uh, you would kind of, like, play the game by controlling with Blade Mage, um, building up your resources, and then when you think you can, con like, push comfortably, you would go into Flare Mage and then, um, finish off your opponent. There's also a Restand spell in the deck, so you can get this card up to, uh, five attacks. So, five plus the one or two of the previous Green Unto a Dragon, you guys get the idea. It's, it's, it, you can, um, play aggressively, but, uh, it's, it's, it's better to control your opponent, um, for the early parts of the game, you know, prevent them from gaining more momentum. And then we have a uh, Gargantua Ice Mage. This is sort of like, I guess it's just a discount Sonic mode. Um, when it enters the field, uh, you gain two life. Then it enters the field by Jivo, you gain three life and draw. So if Jivo, you basically gain five life and draw one, uh, move in Soul Guard. So it's, it's okay. Um, gives you resources. Uh, I think the main point is that, um, if you're going to be sitting on Blade Mage for a little while, uh, kind of like grinding down your opponent um you want to make sure you're at a comfortable life level so this card can help you heal to something like like if you use it turn one you're at you know 15 to 16 life uh 14 to 16 life and um that's that's great uh so even if you have to take even if you don't have nullifiers or no bounces or anything you you know you can comfortably take the hit uh and this card makes it okay um all right, then we're moving on to our size ones. We've got two Magicat. Uh, so it is a 3-1-2. When this, uh, you may only call this card if you have a DD Dragon Tribe on your field. Uh, that means sets are um, like item included. Uh, I was going to say set spell, but it's not a DDT, unfortunately. Um, when this card enters the field, check the top three cards. Uh, you add one spell from them and then stack the rest on the bottom of the deck. And then this card can't be bounced because that way you could keep abusing its ability. So, um... I'm only running two because as the game goes on, you're going to have less spells in your deck, and it's just, it's not worth it to, um, you know, run multiples. It's 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 a one crit. Uh, after it, after it's called, it does not do a thing. Um, and again, you can't you can't re, you can't recycle it. So um, it's just a little addition. Uh, gauge is a big issue in this deck too, or was at least. So. Um, I, I ditched copies of Magic Cat in favor of uh, Magic Cat Heat Magic. So it is a 5 1 1. Um, you may only, you may cast, when you cast a spell, uh, you get to charge two once per turn. And if you have a drag out on your field, all DD Dragon Tribe monsters on your field gain plus 2k power. Um, so the power actually can make a difference, uh, just because, like, you know, monsters have can have obnoxiously high defense at times. Um, you know, that's that's always nice. It's not the most important thing. It's the gauge. Uh, it's the fact that you're typically going to cast a spell every turn, uh, your opponent's turn included. So getting such a consistent flow of gauge is really important. And then it also creates this card as like a bait target for your opponent to attack because they don't want that on the field. Um, so yeah, uh, gauge is super important and that is what helps you get the gauge. Uh, then we run three um, Transmitter Magic Magidog. Uh, it is a 5 2 3 2 1. Um, and uh, you may only call this card once per turn. You may only call Magidog once per turn. Uh, so you can't call and then call a new one over it or anything. Um, if they nullify the call, you can, because technically you'd never called it. Um, you, when this card enters the field, you may discard a DD Dragon Tribe from hand. And if you do, put the top card of your deck into your gauge and draw two cards. I know, right? We finally got to the point where Magidog can draw more cards. And uh, then Magicat, oh, well, Gardog, rather. And Garcat gains more gauge than Gardog. I never thought I'd see the day. <clears throat> my my headcanon is that they, like, swapped the skills on accident. Um, is headcanon applicable in that? Okay. Then we run two uh, Oulu Owl. Um, it's a 3-1-1, one, one, size 0. When this card enters the field, choose a dragon monster in your drop zone. You may pay one gauge if you do put the chosen card into your hand. So um, this is in case like you want to grab your Blade Mage or uh, Flare Mage. and Because, um, again, you only run two uh, Flare Mage. So in case you like um, uh, discard um, the... Unless it's in your gauge and like you, you need to pay the gauge and um, 
or you can pay the gauge and then you can drop this card and recycle something. Um, there is a spell in this deck that allows you to recycle spells. So if you discard a spell, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you can just recycle it back. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just in case like you lose cards that you don't, or, you know, you can discard spells to fuel, um, blade mage's ability or, uh, uh, two of the other spells. Yeah, two of the other spells in this deck. So it's it's an, it's a nice um, it's just a nice little uh, addition. Uh, two of is fine. You don't really need it, but it does help the deck. Um, and if you don't want to run this card, you could put like uh, Magic Cat to three, and then maybe run like um, an additional spell or something else you think needs to change. Uh, so far, my deck has been working out pretty well for me. Um, just had a few bad games about a week ago, two weeks ago. So onto spells, uh, we run great two great spell circle of Deity Dragon. It's a set spell. Uh, all Deity Dragon on your field gain one one. Um, and at the start of your opponent's turn, this 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 spell is so good. I cannot like stress enough how much um, you want to use it. Uh, at the start of your opponent's turn, choose a spell in your drop zone, and you may drop a hand card. If you do, put the card, put the chosen card into your hand. You may only set one of these on your field. Um, so it makes every single spell in your deck. Uh, including Obstruct when it was available. Sorry, I'm salty about that. <laughs> like, I'm trying to play it off, but, like, I'm legitimately salty that they banned that card. Um, but anyway, uh, um, yeah, it makes every single spell in your deck, uh, searchable. Not in your deck, but everything, every single spell you run, uh, recyclable, grabbable, searchable, whatever. But, um, you can just... Like, I can cast one Nullifier, and I won't need to worry about seeing another one, because I can just recycle it with this. And you only run two, because, again, it's going to be a dead draw um, if you run it anymore, and if you see it after you've set one. And the deck has so much, like, spell searching and draw power that it's really not that big of a deal. Um, like, you don't need to run things at a higher rate, at a higher um, amount. Uh, so, we run three God Magic Nexent. Um, this card's fun. Uh, there's a, there's a great fight I had with Gabe, um, using this card. And, uh, it was just such, like, a, a great time. For me, at least. Um, so you may only cast this card if you're dragging on your field. It's just pay one gauge and choose and use one of the following two, but you can only count this card once per turn. Uh, for this turn, a monster on your opponent's field gets minus 5k defense, 5k power, and minus, um, one crit. Uh, and then the other one is for this turn, nullify all abilities of a monster on your opponent's field. So, let's say you're fighting against King Agito, okay? This is the like the matchup I had with Gabe. Um, if you can get rid of their item, which you can, or if they don't have the item, you and you're on Blade Mage, uh, you just cast Nexent, you nullify the Soul Guard of Agito, and then there's that giant soul. You're like, fuck, how am I getting through this? So you nullify that soul guard. And then because you cast a spell, Blade Mage's skill procs, and you just destroy the Agito, and it doesn't have the soul guard to survive. And then you just hit them for, um, you know, however many attacks you have. So this card's great. Um, uh, I'm not even going to, like, explain the ratios. You just straight up do not need four of any spell in this deck because everything is searchable. But, um... Nexent is something that you want to see uh, potentially multiple times a game because it it can um, vastly change the outcome of the fight. And then uh, for resources, we got three Examinate. Uh, you may only cast a card if you have a DD Dragon Tribe on the field. Check the top three cards of your deck. Put one from them into your hand, one into the gauge, and one into the drop zone. Then you gain a life. You can only cast a card once per turn. I love this card. So... A fun play is like, I get, I mean, it's not a play. It's just a recommendation. Um, whatever you add to hand, make sure it's like what you need right then and there. Um, then if there's a spell that you're like, ooh, I should add that to my hand and, you know, use it on my opponent to prepare for my opponent's turn, uh, just drop that card because um, if you have the set spell on deck, then when it's in drop, it's like having an additional hand card on your opponent's turn. Um, I hope that made sense. Uh, but like, let's say your difference are a nullify and more draw power. And you're just like, well, I don't have any nulls in hand. 
So let's grab the Nolder for my opponent's turn. Just add the draw power uh, and then use that that turn and then drop the Nullifier and add it back to your hand at the beginning of your opponent's turn. So you're effectively, if you have the set spell, you are effectively adding two cards to hand. And then the fact that one goes to gauge two is really nice. If there's like another spell that you don't really need, you can send it to gauge and then pay the, you know, pay a cost or whatever. Um, this card also giving you one life is what like just changed i so I, at my locals i fought the um uh impact monster agito deck no agito uh abigail and holy shit the deck's scary and it knocked me down to one life so i couldn't obstruct and then i saw this card and i was comfortably able to obstruct like every turn because i just kept recycling this and obstruct and um healing enough that i could cast that i could uh cast obstruct so cards save it's just a godsend and we run three nice ones. Um, Y'all remember this one. Oh. Uh, it is pay one gauge and draw two cards. You only use it once per turn. Easy as that. Just a solid draw uh, power. Solid draw engine. And then we run two Sephiroth's Lecture. It is a spell you can only cast if you've already cast a spell during this turn. Um, and Which is not hard at all. Uh, it's counter, so you can use it on your opponent's turn too. Oh, that's another thing I wanted to point out. Um, examinate's a counter. You can use it on your opponent's turn. So if you recycle it with Great Spell, uh, Circle Deity, you can um, add it back to hand and then use it on your opponent's turn uh, in case you want to like heal or if you're just like, hey, I need some resources to make other plays, so let's set up. And if you can comfortably do it, by all means. I've done it many times. Um, so anyway, this is a counter. Check the top two cards of your deck, put one from them into your hand, and put the other into your gate. Put the rest into your gauge. So you could charge two. Um, no, you can't. Never mind. It's one to hand, one to gauge, no matter what. Uh, so it's like a weaker examinate. Um, I only run two of it because of kind of for that reason. Um, I want to make sure I've already casted other spells. And again, recyclable. Uh, then we run to Jumtesta. This is, I guess, you could consider, like, the Magic World equivalent of, um... <sighs> Drag Out Shine. Uh, but I'm only saying that because it searches an item. Um, but it's Pay a Gauge. Choose to use one of the following two. You can only use this card once per turn. Um, put one Deity Dragon Tribe item from your deck into your hand and shuffle, or you gain five life counter. Uh, that's actually really fun. Um, if your opponent impacts you for game... Uh, you can cast this right before that, and you'll just heal away. So while the impact will still hit you, you're still alive. Um, seen that happen in the anime a few times, so I'm sure you guys know that. But uh, yeah, um, I primarily use it for the item search because I run two of the item because it's not that good, and uh, some you usually will have like a closed center unless you're trying to go on the offensive. So um, you know, it's uh, it's not it's not the most important card. Uh, we run three Terracale. This card's great for both defensive and offensive purposes. Um, the the cost is a little rough sometimes, uh, but I might just be saying that because I was fighting against um, Abigail, and that was just... Look, that deck scared me, all right? <laughs> it's a pay a gauge and a life. Um, and I say that's an issue because, like, you're paying a gauge and a life for your item. You are paying gauge for your monster. Uh, so it's like if you do all this in the first two turns, you're kind of burning a lot. That's part of that's part of why um, magic heat is so important. Heat magic, whatever it's called. The, the magic hat card. Um, it mitigates the cost by a lot. So anyway... Choose and use one of the following two. You might cast this card once per turn. Uh, stand up to one drag god and one item on your field, or rest up to two cards on your opponent's field. So this can be used against items and monsters alike. Um, that's super helpful, especially against Lost World. Uh, you can completely shut down um, Aragite or uh, Vile, the Skull. Um, just anything that's on attack, you can shut down. And obviously it works great against Garga. Um no G Evo for them. So good card. Three of definitely. And then uh standing your monster and item is really fun too, because your item is double attack, and then if you're using it on Blade Mage or Flare Mage, that's uh that's quadruple attack plus two attacks from your item, so six, and then you basically get eight attacks after that. It's awesome. Uh then we run two Warrior. Um so this is uh you may only cast cards if you have three or more spells in drop, um, which more oftentimes than not you will, and I'm only running two for that reason. Um 
you know you don't want to see it early game when you don't when you might not have three spells but typically you're gonna have three spells uh by turn one um anyway you may only cast card if you do three more spells and drop uh return a card on your opponent's field to hand this is how i got rid of gabe's item uh in link dragon order just bounce it um and i think that's great that it's return a card and not uh return a monster so um it's really practical it's really helpful uh run it <laughs> That's, that's all I can. Also, if you use it again with Blade Mage, I mean, this goes without saying, um, you can bounce a card and then destroy another card, or no, destroy another monster. Uh, then we run two Abracadabra. This is the spell null. It's a pay two gauge, which is a little heavy, but um, it's not that big of an issue, and it... You, you have other ways, uh, like Terracolay and Rari, you have other ways of kind of disrupting your opponent, so um, nullifying a spell... Uh, it's like, if you can't use this card, it's not that big of a deal. It becomes gauge fodder, and then you can just recycle it. So, um, you only need two. It's not super important. But anyway, um, you only cast this card when your opponent casts a spell, nullify the spell. It's two gauge. And uh, if you cast it, and you can, if you can pay it... You know, I'm, I, I, should, I should reiterate, though. Um, I'm saying it like, oh, gauge is so precious in this deck. Uh, it's so, like, infrequent. You get a lot of gauge from this deck. Um, I've... Uh, I tweaked it... Um, and I almost never had a gauge issue. There was maybe like one game where I had a problem, but other than that, I was perfectly fine. So, um, you should be comfortable. Uh, then we run four of these, of the, um, attack null protect magic. Uh, so you may only cast a card on an, uh, during attack on your opponent's turn. And if you have a DD dragon tribe in your field, again, the item counts. Um, it doesn't say monster. So, uh, to cast it, it's no gauge, which is great, but you put a spell from your drops on the bottom of your deck. So if you do not have spells in drop, you cannot use this card. Um, I think you guys saw that issue in the uh, triple deck fights between me and Jose. Like, I had two of this card in hand, but no spells in drop, so I could not cast it. Uh, but now that the deck is a lot more spell heavy and their spells kind of go off a lot more um, frequently, like in response to a lot more um, uh, phases and um, happening, or like, occurrences in game then um you don't typically have that spell shortage anymore so this card yeah it's good um i lied i do run four of this card never mind uh okay put a spell from your drop into the uh onto the bottom of your deck um nullify the attack put the top card of your deck into your gauge gain a life and draw that's awesome gives you resources it gives you some life it just gives you like so much and then you can keep recycling it and keep using it every turn so great spell Get it, guys? Great spell, because that's... <sighs> I have studying to do after this. Um, this is your item. It is... <laughs> Richard gets so annoyed by this card because it's a broom instead of a wand. DD Dragon Broom Gar Broom. I love it, by the way. It is a 6-2. Um, pay gauge and a life to equip. Uh, I'm not a fan of the gauge and a life equips. I don't know. It just bothers me. <laughs> but... Um, this card in the field cannot be destroyed by card effects. That's pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, items in this deck are not as important as they are in Dragon World, Garga, um, and to a certain extent, uh, Katana World. So anyway, um, when you cast a spell for this turn, this card gets double attack. So even if you can't cast a spell, um, there were certain cases where I couldn't. There's a little play you can do where you swing once with this, and then you swing with your Dragod, and then you cast Terracolay. You stand the Dragod and you stand your item because you cast a spell this restands with double attacks so that's two more attacks you can make um and i mean it's the same thing as if you did double attack and then restood it and attacked again but like sometimes it might throw your opponent off like my opponent was like oh oh so it can restand after that and i was just like yeah because it gains double attack now so it's a fun little thing and then we run to dd gargantua punisher um the magic world DD Grancho Punisher. Uh, you may only cast this card. Uh, I love it. You know, the gold foiling. You guys saw my reaction in the triple deck unboxing. If, if you haven't, go watch that. It's a great video. But anyway, um, I love it because uh, you guys just going, boy, and Gargantua Dragon is just like nutting in the back. Um, you may only cast this card if you cast a spell during this turn and your opponent's life is five or less and you have a Dragon monster on your field. So it is actually like the easiest to cast. Um... You know, you can do it whether there's a center or not. Uh, pay two gauge, deal five damage to your opponent. It cannot be nullified, and the damage cannot be reduced. Um, if you have Gem Testa, you can heal out of it, though. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's really fu it's 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 easy to use, um, and it's not necessary either for, like, your win con. But if you can use it, 
by all means. If you know how to push for it, do it. Uh, so, oh, and then I guess uh, part of my sideboard, I'm still I'm still testing stuff around, so I don't want to give like a definitive um, sideboard yet. Uh, I'm still missing three cards, but anyway, I run three be gone. It's paid to gauge. Uh, you may only cast this card when an opponent calls a size two or less monster. Nullify the call. So this is great against Astro Dragons. Um, and I guess to a certain extent, Link Dragon Order. But the biggest thing is Astro Dragons because their size two is their main monster. It's like the key component to their plays. So um, using Be Gone against it is super useful. Uh, I run two more Warrior for Astro Dragon matchups. Um, Link Dragon Order matchups. Uh, and um, yeah, just stuff like like a lot of like, um, I guess... Uh, Caught like formations so uh and also the fact that it can bounce cards it's really good against stuff with like a lot of set spells like again abigail um yeah that basically that's it oh and uh i mean you could bounce set spells for um god punk uh and then i run two buddy block uh it's pay a gauge choose and use one of the following two for this turn the next damage you take is reduced by three or if your opponent's cards attacked four times or more during this turn for this turn you will take no damage from attacks um, so that's really cool. Uh, you could main deck it. Initially, I was main decking one and sideboarding the other, but, um, I just thought that seeing the one of, it really didn't help me that often. Um, so I figured I'll just sideboard two against, and like switching them against decks that are a lot more aggressive. Um, uh, and yeah, so here we are with two. Um, I think you could, look, I was running the the most recent magic drum and it wasn't doing very well it's not a deity dragon tribe it's a size two that does nothing early game it's it's messy um so maybe you could tech it at a one of in a sideboard if you really like lost world you can go for that um i'm still figuring out cards but that's my sideboard for now um we are getting more support soon anyway so i might just wait and then when i bring you guys an updated deck this should be at 10 cards instead of seven but for now it's just a seven so this was the deck profile um i guess one other card i do want to test out that i haven't gotten a hold of is uh Osmodai on the dance floor it's whenever a card is like returned to hand or when a card is returned to hand once per turn you get to like charge and draw or you draw and gain a life or something like that. But it's super useful. My friend recommended it. Um, so uh, if you have that card, give it a shot. But I hope you guys enjoyed the deck profile. Um, let me know uh, how, it, like if you guys built this, let me know how it plays. Um, give me recommendations in the comments section. Uh, yeah, that is pretty much it. So this has been Miles from Nexus Core signing off guys.